Hello everyone, Jake here for FM Scout and in today's video I'll be running through a Wonder Kid team with the cheapest possible player in each position to give you, in theory, the cheapest possible Wonder Kid dream team. Now, there is a few limits on this video. I didn't just want to pick the guys that were like only barely scraping Wonder Kid and you could sign for £95,000 or something. We've made videos on those really cheap guys. In this one, all of these players will have a minimum potential range of 140 to 170. So even the worst of a bunch on his worst day will have a potential of 140 at the very very least which is still a pretty decent potential and will likely make you a profit on all of these players. So I'm hoping all of these will be solid picks. Before we get into player number one though if you guys could show your support for us and smash the like button I would massively massively appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button for more as we push 150,000 subscribers. We're trying to get there by the new year so any support will be massively 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 appreciated. With that being said, let's get right into it, shall we? And in the goalkeeping position, we have ready-made goalkeeper Elia Capriol. Now, I say ready-made because there's also one other goalkeeper that we spoke about before called Awusu, who plays in an African division and is likely not going to be in your save. Even because he starts off at 16, it's going to take a lot longer for him to develop. But Capriol here, who plays for Bari, a team in the second division of Italy, looks like a goalkeeper that could play at a very high level already. At the age of 20, this six foot three Italian has decent physicals, nice goalkeeping attributes and some okay mentals as well that can be built up from. Yes, he's not going to start for a Manchester City. That's who we're managing here, by the way. So don't judge the star ratings too much. They're being compared to Haaland and De Bruyne and Ruben Diaz and whatnot. So don't look at the star ratings in this video. But Capriel, in most of your says, will turn in to an elite goalkeeper that could play for those clubs at full growth. So if you're looking for a cheap goalie for a couple million pounds, this guy would be your man. In centre back we have a fan favourite of this year already Enzo Boyomo. Now just to mention maybe some of these players won't want to negotiate with you. I've tried it a few times. Some of these are okay. Some of them aren't so keen on joining. So just bear that in mind. If they're not keen on joining straight away, scout them, add them to your shortlist. And within a year and you'll save usually, these players are willing to move. Often they've just signed new deals or just joined new clubs. And for that reason are hard to sign. And the other thing to note is transfer values can adjust slightly when you load up a new save, depending on a player's potential range. However, most of these guys will be cheap either way. And I'm hoping it will make great choices for you guys but Enzo Boyomo is a 20 year old Cameroonian centre back who can also play fullback but for me he's definitely a centre back. His ball playing ability is fairly decent, he's got nice well-rounded attributes and he's definitely playing at a lower level than he should be. He is playing for Albacete, they're a team in the second division of Spain and straight away he's got interests from Barcelona and Atletico Madrid so be quick but he is a cheap wonder kid with plenty of potential as are all of these players. If you're looking for a younger centre back though then maybe Wisdom Ame, the Italian 16 year old could be your man. He is one of those that won't want to negotiate straight away. I think he's just signed a new deal or something like that, but his valuation is only a couple million pounds here, so it might be worth trying to sign him and seeing what happens. If not, keep your eyes on him and try and sign him later down the line because he will turn in to a great player. Now, physically, he already has some great attributes. He's well-rounded, but his mentals and technicals definitely need some work, but he's got a lot of time to grow. At 16 years of age, he's not expected to start for an elite club just yet, but by the time he has developed, he will be good enough for most sides in world football. Player number four is one of my favourites, but before we talk about him, I'd like to let you guys know, you've probably heard it already, but I do have my own channel that you can find linked in the description where we have a Leicester save going on currently, but most recently we released our first one-off rebuild where we tried to rebuild Wolves within one video, five seasons in one video. A lot of you guys have already enjoyed it, but if you want to come check that out, hit the subscribe button over there, I'd greatly appreciate it. But back to the player, and it is Mika Marmol. Former Barcelona player who now plays for FC Andorra. This guy looks like he should be playing at a way higher level. This left back slash centre back has great physical attributes, very good mentals and good technicals to go alongside it. He's not going to be amazing at bombing forward at left back so either use him as a defensive fullback or maybe you want to bring him inside, play him as a central defender on the defence duty and he can do a pretty decent job of that. His valuation is super low as well as you can see here, only a couple million pounds and one that I think would be a great player for you guys. Apologies for not having it already but I've now got the attribute 
attribute analysis graph on the right hand side for you guys who tend to like that but our right back option is one of the best right back wonder kids that you can find in fm23 and it just so happens to be super cheap as well it's martin fernandez of porto's b team who can be picked up for a couple million again just to reiterate his transfer value might be slightly different in your save he might not be so keen to sign but just keep an eye on them scout them all and they will definitely be worth the investment if you can get your hands on them but this 16 year old portuguese national has plenty of room to grow just yet he's not exceptional in any area but you can see he is starting to develop that base set of attributes that you'd want from a good well-rounded fullback and with the right training and the right development he will be one of the world's best in no time moving into midfield and make sure you do stick around because we have a very very good player coming up one that i haven't spoke about yet on the channel that i think looks phenomenal but i'm gonna attempt to pronounce this guy's name so bear with me here but this guy is called aaron siaman glicella siamar glicella I, I don't really know i've tried my best there but this 17 year old italian national plays for torino is in their under 18s and again has a very low valuation but plenty of great talent already a good passer who can tackle well with nice vision teamwork off the ball decision making first touch i don't think he's ever going to be a massive massive attacking presence with low finishing and dribbling and crossing but he could be one that develops into a very good passer in the midfield. Yes, he needs some work. All of these players will, but he's cheap. He's got great potential. And in most of your saves will go on to easily surpass being a starter in the Torino first team with the right training. We're getting close to my favorite player who's going to be the next one. But in the midfield, we have a guy that we've spoke about a few times on the channel already. João Veloso of Benfica's under 19s he is someone that has incredible potential and will go on with the right training because of course these players need to get given a chance often a player might not get a chance at his team and therefore won't develop but if you gave Jao Veloso the opportunity he can develop into a star for a couple million pounds this 17 year old six foot one Portuguese national has great attributes all around needs work in a lot of areas but he could eventually be a nice advanced playmaker but he is young enough that you could mold him into whatever role that you prefer if it's a mezzo are on the attack duty you could make that happen he just needs the right opportunities to develop and he could turn in to a superstar but my favorite player on this list is millionaire's player daniel ruiz a 20 year old colombian you can see he's very strong on his left foot but fairly strong on his right so you can use him in whatever role you feel like but for me it's got to be an inverted winger or an inside forward on that left hand side i think he'd do a great job cutting in some great attributes all around that can get a load better still i've just checked and even though his valuation has gone up slightly when i've asked the agent it should still be about 1 million a little bit over that maybe but he is willing to join a club such as manchester city wage demands are high of course because he thinks he's joining manchester city and he's gonna ask for a lot of wages but you could definitely get him for a lot cheaper than that but look at that player he's been in and around the colombian divisions over the last few years but looks like he's ready to make that step into the top five leagues of Europe and would do a great job for many a side straight away without any development. One player that does need a lot of development though is Luis Guilherme, the Brazilian attacker midfielder who plays for Palmeiras. He's been appearing in the Brazil youth teams in real life alongside Endrick and many consider him and Endrick the double act that are making Brazil's youth teams so special. Now Guilherme hasn't been given the same reputation in football manager as his colleague Endrick has but he still has some nice attributes for a 16 year old and plenty of time yet to grow i mean physically he's quick and agile he's got some nice passing technique and okay vision he can finish fairly well a lot of work needed on him still in some areas particularly in this save at least and it might be different in yours his composure is only a four his concentration is only a six and his determination only a three his mental attributes aren't great but hopefully that's random and different in your save i've just had a check by speaking to his agent and his value range has slightly shifted but because it's 20k to 5 million it could be anywhere in that range so let's say a couple million pounds ish for this guy let's meet him in the middle and i think that would not be a terrible signing he just needs a lot of time to develop and grow before he becomes the world beater that it looks like he could be in real life moving into our final two and the cheapest wonder kid we could find in this position who also fit our criteria of being a guaranteed good wonder kid is jal rego of benfica a 17 year old portuguese national who i feel like i've said this a million times needs some work i mean he's not perfect just yet but he is a good passer with good technique and vision he could be molded into a good playmaking midfielder or as it's suggesting here a left-sided player cutting inside on his right foot inverted winger inside forward 
could be his role. He just needs to get a lot quicker, a lot better at finishing or crossing, depending on what you want from him, and just to become more well-rounded. But he certainly has the potential to do so. About £1 million would net you this player, who's came out of Benfica's youth teams, has been there for a while, and it's now time to give him the chance at your side. But our final player is a real cheap beast, an absolute monster right from the off, who can develop into a top tier signing. It's the next one from the Wonder Kid factory. That is RB Salzburg. Another great striker produced. This time it is Karim Konate. They picked him up from a club in the Ivory Coast called Mimosas, where he'd been banging in goals for fun at the age of 16 and 17. But now he comes into the Austrian divisions with five caps already for his national team. A valuation of £3 million or so. Great physical attributes to build up from. Very brave, works hard and is aggressive. Needs some work in his decision making but that will come with time a good finisher who's good at dribbling heading he could be the perfect all-round package and there's not too many clubs interested in him straight away so you have time to pick him out bring him to your side and develop him he's not like Sesco used to be where you had to rush and sign him no Kareem Kanate still needs some time to develop and therefore a lot of clubs aren't focused on him just yet so swoop in before they notice bring him to your side and I really do not think you would regret it for this brilliant striker if you want to maybe leave him at Salzburg for a year or so see how he develops and then swoop in but either way you are going to get a top tier player out of this guy for so cheap as well Kareem Kanate is another one of my favorites from this list but there we go guys that is my cheapest wonder kid team that all fit in to a minimum potential range of 140 to 170 some are higher some of the older players have fixed potentials which they'll always reach in your saves with the right development but either way I think they all represent good value for money and you could probably sign this team for a total with somewhere under 20 million which I think is great great value don't forget to like the video if you have enjoyed subscribe for more as we push 150k get involved in the comments down below but most of all have a great day everybody and I'll see you next time thank you and goodbye